Hi everyone, this is an announcement for Psych 2530. We're entering into another learning module week. This time it's called Associations. So I've posted that up on Blackboard for us. And uh, you can head over to the course website and see what's going on. We have some readings. So there's one chapter on associations. This is a really foundational idea in cognitive psychology. And we talk about some of the history uh, about this. So we're mostly historical research, really, in terms of the reading. And uh, there's a couple mini lectures here. There's also a, a research article from 1982. It's really short. It's only one pa page long, and it's really very interesting. You can access this article uh, in order to do this writing assignment. I'll show you where to get it on Blackboard. And in this little mini lecture, I discuss reading the article and extracting what it's all about. So if you read or watch this one, it should help you with this writing assignment. So if we head back to the learning module, there's a quiz that you can complete as always worth 2.5 points. Looks like Blackboard's pretty slow right now. And there's this writing assignment that we were looking at on the course website that's just about to load. I want to comment on it briefly. I guess, uh, are we going to wait for it to load? Or it's, I can see it on my website, it's going the little, little blue bar. This is what it's like to use Blackboard, and it just have to wait. Uh, oh, is it doing something? It wants to do something. There, there it is. Wonderful. Okay, so here's your instructions. It's five points due next Tuesday. Uh, I find the instructions a little bit easier to read on the website personally. And the uh, assignment is to read this paper. And you can get this paper right here. Uh, just scroll down and you can download it. Okay, so that's where you get the paper. The purpose of the assignment is to give you some practice with extracting the central points of a research article. And we're going to use something called the Calmery method for that. That was explained in chapter one. You can click this link and review it for more detailed instructions. Basically, you want to read the paper and then identify each of these points about the paper. All right. And if you can do that, then you're a long ways away towards being able to understand and communicate what happened in that paper. And uh, this is a really good skill to develop. So I'll have you do a self-assessment as normal, but I also want you to assess your own confidence that you could personally explain this article to another person. That's, that's one of the things, you know, and if it's low, that's okay. It takes practice to read these articles and extract uh, meaning from them. All right. As you know, we had some issues with students plagiarizing their writing assignments with uh, chat GPT or a similar tool the past week. And for an assignment like this, it would actually be very easy to just copy, you know, this into chat GPT and then submit whatever it made up. Uh, however, that wouldn't be useful to a student trying to learn to in increase their skills at reading primary research articles, which is the whole point of the assignment. I do have an alternative way that you could complete this assignment if you want. So what I did was I went and copied this whole assignment and I put it into Google Bard, which is a similar tool like ChatGPT, all right? And if you want to read what Google Bard did, it, it wrote this whole thing. Uh, it generated all of this text and it's basically all wrong. It's fabricated nonsense. It looks like it might be right, but it is pretty much all wrong. And this is really important. These text generators, especially when asked to generate content about citations or manuscripts, they just, there's no, they're not telling you what's there. They're not summarizing the article in any meaningful way. They're just creating text that looks like it might be doing that. And this is a perfect example of, I'm not going to go in here and say what are all the different things that it got totally wrong, 
but that is the assignment. So you could uh, discuss each of the sections here that Bard generated, and if, if it can be improved somehow, like talk about how it could be improved. Some of what it wrote is not half bad, um, but lots of it is completely wrong. So you would, uh, if you find a section that's completely wrong, you would have to say, well, this is completely wrong, and then uh, make suggestions about what you would do to correct it. Um, in other words, you would have to do this assignment because you'd have to read the paper and put uh, correct information in there. I, I actually don't think that it's super helpful to read what Google, Google Bard did because it's just all wrong. <laughs> However, it's useful to see the example in terms of how wrong these generators uh, can be. Um, if you're taking content like a paper or a chapter or a YouTube lecture and just putting it into one of these things and looking at the summary, I would not be um, very confident that the summaries that are being produced are very accurate. It's a concern with these tools. All right, let's keep going. I've got a bunch more uh, announcements related to other things in the course. I hope you have fun with this association's learning module. It's Monday, September 18th, so you still have until tomorrow midnight to hand in everything from the last learning module. And uh, some of the general announcements, most of them have to do with new things I've added to the discussion board. So let's head over to the discussion board and check that out. All right. So the first thing I added, uh, there's three things here. Assignment feedback. Okay, so what I've done here is, we can jump in and check it out. So I have uh, given group level feedback for each of the writing assignments and the first self-assessment. And you could click on these uh, and check it out. And what I'm doing here is I'm just reading everybody's assignments. I'm making some notes on things that I'm picking up on when I'm reading these assignments, and I'm just reflecting them, um, what, what I thought about the writing and what some of the writing brought up for me. Most of these assignments are, there's, um, they're reflective in the sense that, you know, you read something and then you're reflecting on what you got out of the reading. Um, some of the later assignments start getting a little bit more specific in terms of evaluating cognitive theories and predictions, and so uh, there's more of an accuracy. We, we, we may be talking more about, you know, whether, um, you know, the theory was described correctly or whether the results were described correctly and that kind of stuff. If you want to, uh, you know, feel free to reply to these things if you want to keep the conversation going about any one of those assignments. And as an example here, one of the very first assignments was questions about cognition. Some of you did this one, and you generated lots of different questions that you said you were interested in, hoping to maybe learn answers to these questions in the course. I really liked a lot of the questions you had. I wanted to facilitate the process of maybe answering them this semester. So I created a new discussion board called answering questions about cognition. All right, nobody's posted anything here yet. This one is not for points. It's just for uh, asking questions and talking about potential answers to them. So yeah, feel free to go back and think about any or find some of those questions that you were posing and make a thread here and we can have conversations around trying to answer that question or uh, some of the questions are totally answerable that I think people wrote about. Some of them are so big that it would take, you know, quite a lot to answer them. Um, anyways, I think if you're brave, post your questions here and, uh, and students and myself will try, other people, will, you know, in the class will try to answer them, see what happens here. Okay, this last one, make a presentation and a friend. Well, I was reading the self-assessments and I saw one theme was people hoping to make a new friend or befriend somebody in the class or at Brooklyn College this semester, which is a really 
great goal to have. And it's hard to do that in an online asynchronous course. Uh, we're doing a little bit of conversation in the Introduce Yourself forum. So I thought I'd make an assignment around, um, you know, potentially meeting somebody and learning a little bit more about them by engaging in a little bit of group work. So I posted this under general assignments. If it loads here, it should be down here. It's uh, worth 10 points because it's uh, more, it, there's a lot involved here. Basically, you need to partner up, so find a partner. I, um, with your partner, what you're going to do is choose a research article about cognitive psychology. And, you know, you pick one that you're interested in. Maybe you find that you and your partner have a similar type of question about cognition you're interested in learning about. So you find a research article that addresses that question. I'm going to read that paper. What you're going to do is you're going to come up with a short, let's say five minute uh, PowerPoint presentation or Google Slides or whatever you want to use. And you're going to jointly deliver this presentation. Um, you're also going to record your delivery of the presentation. I've got some suggestions for how you could do that here. You can both log on to a Zoom room and then um, each of you, you know, maybe alternate giving the slides. So the presentation is pretty short. The idea is almost like a, you know, like a five minute podcast where you talk about what the research question of this paper was, what was the hypothesis or theory being tested, what were the methods, what were the results, and what did we learn, what inferences were made, what the questions from the results. Uh, a little bit like doing the culinary in the form of a presentation. And, uh, you know, this will take a bunch of coordination. You'll have to find somebody to do this with if you're interested in it, and then meet with them and make the presentation together and coordinate all this stuff. Uh, so that's why it's worth 10 points. In order to find a partner to help you do this, if you're interested, uh, that's what that discussion forum is for. So go down here. If you want to try out this assignment and you want to find somebody find a partner and go ahead and post a thread in here and say that you're looking for somebody to do this assignment with. You could also uh, talk a little bit about what your research questions are, or maybe you already found a research paper that you want to do an assignment um, a presentation on, and you could post that there as well. And uh, so I'm, I'm guessing the the people who want to do this type of assignment, um, you know, check out this discussion forum, make yourself known. And once, uh, once you're finished, um, you'll have, you know, there's follow the instructions on um, making that presentation and submitting it on Blackboard. And that should be fun, I think. If you have any questions about that process, feel free to ask them uh, up here in the questions about the course. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for today. Um, it's Monday. Have a great rest of the week. And oh, I made a bunch of announcements last week. If we scroll back to them, it's loading. Sorry, it's a bit slow. And I posted this exam-based syllabus option. I haven't got a lot of interest in it, and that totally makes sense. But if you're a student who um, is looking to spend their time a little bit differently in this course, instead of doing these smaller weekly assignments, you know, you're going to be devoting a little bit more time to, sorry, uh, uh, you'll be performing this midterm and then a final exam. I've had one or two students uh, be interested in this option, and I will be uh, announcing more information about the midterm as it comes up. So uh, again, the, this midterm is only for students who have said they want to do the exam-based syllabus option. 
um, or for students who received sanctions for academic integrity violations. And I'll be announcing more about that as it gets closer. So the, the dates for the midterm are October 2nd and 6th. That is it for now. And yeah, have fun with the associations module and we'll see you next week.